Welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. In this video, we will go over how to integrate and use Bluefin Payment Gateway through Charm Health. Charm Health integrates with Bluefin Payment Gateway so that the practices can collect payments from within the application, making the process efficient and reducing patient waiting time. Following is a list of Bluefin devices you can integrate with through Charm Health. Topics covered in this video include enabling Charm Bluefin integration, doing a sales transaction through Bluefin, storing, charging, and deleting cards on file, refunding an unused payment, reoccurring payments, online patient payments. Enabling Charm Bluefin integration. To enable this integration, go to Add-ons, Bluefin, or Settings, Billing, Bluefin. Enter preferred email and then click Request. Charm Health Support Team will contact you to help set up a merchant account and enable the integration. Once the integration is enabled, you will see your merchant accounts and facilities listed in the Bluefin Facilities section. To link facilities with your Bluefin merchant account, select the account from the drop-down and check off the facilities you want to associate with that account, then click Save. Doing a sales transaction through Bluefin. A sales transaction occurs when the practice charges a patient's card for services rendered. From the patient dashboard, go to Billing. Payments can be collected from Invoices, Receipts, or Balance Due section. To collect payments from the Invoices section, click on the three dots next to an invoice and choose Add Payment. In the dialog box, enter Payment Amount. Check the Use Payment Gateway box. Choose Payment From and the beneficiary account to which the money should be credited. Choose an appropriate input type. Set input type to Swipe if you have a card reader and the card with you. Make sure your cursor is on the card information field before you swipe the card. If you are using a chip reader, select the EMV or Magnetic Chip Reader if you do not have the card reader or the card, change the input type to key in and enter the card details manually. Click Add. To collect payments from the Receipts or Balance Due section, click on the Add Payment button. Enter payment amount. Check the Use Payment Gateway box Choose a beneficiary account. Choose an input type and swipe or key in the card. All invoices of the patient with amount due will be displayed at the bottom. You can distribute the payment amount into the invoices by filling the payment applied fields for each invoice. Click Add to process payment. Storing, charging, and deleting cards on file. Using the store card on file functionality, providers can register a patient's or caregiver's credit card with the payment gateway and charge that card in the future for services rendered. Please note that Charm Health does not store card details on its own servers. Card details are registered with a payment gateway and a token for the transaction will be returned. To store card on file, go to Patient Dashboard, click on the card icon to the right, a slider will appear showing the existing cards on file for the patient. Click the plus icon inside the slider. In the pop-up window, choose the merchant account you want to register the card with. Set input type to swipe if you have a card reader and the card with you. Make sure your cursor is on the card information field before you swipe the card. If you do not have the card reader or the card, change the input type to key in and enter the card details manually. Click store. If you have multiple merchant accounts, you need to register the card with each merchant account individually. Card on file registered with one merchant account cannot be used with another merchant account. Once the card has been registered for the patient, you will see a Charge Card on File option while making payments. From the drop-down, choose the card on file to be charged, then click Add. To delete a card on file, go to Patient Dashboard. Click on the card icon to the right. Click Trash icon inside the card. Click OK on the confirmation message. The card on file will be deleted from Charm. Deleting a card on file will not delete the card from the payment gateway. Also, deleting a card on file will not stop the reoccurring payments associated with it. You will have to manually cancel all the reoccurring payments associated with this card on file. Refunding an unused payment. Payments collected using Bluefin Payment Gateway can be refunded to the patient either partially or fully. However, the refund option will only be available when there is an unused payment amount on the receipt. So before processing a refund, you must go into Receipts and Edit and Apply Payment. 
For example, if a patient paid 200 towards an invoice and you want to refund 50 from that amount, change the payment applied to 150, the remaining 50 will be shown as an unused payment and can be refunded to the patient. Click on the three dots next to the receipt and select Payment Refund. Select Refund through Payment Gateway. Choose Refund 2 and enter Refund Amount. Refund Amount cannot exceed unused receipt payment amount. Click Payment Refund. The amount will be credited to the card and the receipt will be updated with refund details. Reoccurring Payments Charm Health allows you to charge a patient's credit card periodically. To add reoccurring payments, go to Billing, Receipts, Reoccurring Payments, and click Add Reoccurring Payments. In the Reoccurring Payments dialog box, select Beneficiary, Swipe Card, or Key in Card Details. Click Charge Card on File if you want to charge the card that's on file. Enter Reoccurring Amount and choose Reoccurring Schedule. Enter number of times to be charged in Reoccurring Count. Leave Reoccurring Count empty if you want to charge the card indefinitely. Select the start date from which the card is to be charged. Click Make Payments. Reoccurring Payments will be added. Click on the three dots next to the payment to view or edit details. Select Cancel to stop reoccurring payments. Online Patient Payments If your practice is integrated with Bluefin Payment Gateway, invoices can be sent to patients' email or patient portal so that they can directly make payments online. Sending an invoice to patient. To send an invoice to a patient, go to Billing, Invoices. Click the three dots next to an invoice and select Send Invoice. If you are sending invoice to the PHR, select Send to PHR and check the Allow Payment through PHR option. If you are sending an invoice to email, select Send to Email and check the Enable Online Payment box. Enter the amount to be paid. Choose Beneficiary Account. Choose the attachment to be sent. Edit the subject and body of the email if needed. The placeholder dollar sign payment URL should be embedded into the email content. This placeholder will be replaced by an online payment link in the email sent to the patient. Click Send. Making a payment online. If the invoice was shared to the patient's Charm patient portal, patient needs to log into their patient portal then go to Billing Invoices section. For invoices with amount due, Make Payment option will be available on the top. Click Make Payment. Enter card details. Click Make Payment. If invoice was sent to the email, Patient will receive an email with the payment link. Patient needs to click on the link, enter credit card details, and click Make Payment. Once the transaction is complete, a copy of the receipt will be sent to the patient's email. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.